Okay, we're in again. We're late again. I wouldn't say oh that was my. late. We didn't miss the sizzle this time. This is this is probably Tomb Raider, right? This is I, this is Halo. No, this is Tomb Raider. This what are you Halo. talking about? This is t okay. Maybe it's not Tomb Raider. Those look almost alien. This better be Halo. Oh I mean, boy! Been... I thought we were gonna make it this time, but every single possible thing that could have gotten in the way got in the way. Those look like the Witcher symbols. Is this the Witcher full? Oh, is this a general franchise montage with lots of different games in it? Is that what's happening right now? Is this a Jurassic Park like Zoo Tycoon game? Is this it Princess Mononoke? Okay? Is that Zoo Spirit Tycoon of the game? Forest? Oh my gosh. Uh, so the question is. Will this be more disappointing than EA's presentation? I doubt it. They've already I, showed something more interesting than anything in EA's. Have, none of us have any way to play any of these games. As we said last night, was this No Man's PC. Sky 2? Some of them are on PC. As we said last night, a challenge has been issued. EA has set um, has <laughs> set a standard. <laughs> we will see. Watch this just be Battle Royale. It's Call of Duty Battle Period. Royale too. No, it's that's Halo. definitely it's a Halo. Halo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the second time this E3. So no, what am I talking? Like this is like the fourth time so far this E3 that I've had to eat my words. And... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Things I know. I know what that is. Why does his armor look so pristine? Because it's because it's dude, it's next gen. Got clap for it. Got clap this, for it. Is this, this is a weird introduction. This feels like it's like a multiplayer or a specific game or something. This seems, no, it's not. It just, We're on a Halo array specifically. Is this a remake? This is a pre in, this is a it, multiplayer game. Oh yes! <laughs> what? Okay, no. Uh, You've got to be joking. It's too man. early for me to be getting. Like, I, whatever. I'm already <laughs> angry. <laughs> whatever. It's, Watch it be a battle royale. It's game. like Unreal, but slipperier. Master Chief. Yeah, look, there's all the multiplayer setups. Oh. Whoa! They're actually on the stage. Oh, right. not Wait, it's that? about. They're gonna do battle royale on stage. They wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I forgot to start the timer. How long until we hear the words battle royale? Hold okay. on. It's been like three minutes. Yeah, we're starting the timer and we're accounting for three minutes. Okay. Oh crap! I don't have my phone on me. Timer start. <laughs> Totally it's forgot. It's fine. This is the first time someone's on stage, so this is honestly where we can start from. Sure. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. There were no this, this spoken words have not been spoken. <laughs> yeah. Yet. What? Are, why are they all wearing the same thing? Will because they, they had to make people excited by giving them free crap. We will join Master Chief. I thought he was about to say we will join Adventure Fortnite and Battlegrounds. <laughs> 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 Battlegrounds. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in game. Where everything's battle royale. Can't wait. I want to know if they're going to beat EA's six-minute mark. For you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on... Just as a point of reference, if you hear a bunch of clicking hard around, hard it's because I am eating, because I haven't eaten anything all day today, because I've been busy trying to get this stuff to work. He's eating a raw potato. Our, right our, largest, our largest ever live audience, just because we bought the biggest theater this year. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, there uh, it we're goes. good, we're good. We're good. Don't worry, oh, guys. Yeah. Man, this PS4 browser app works great. <laughs> I can't tell. We're joining you from your comp competing system, man. I think we should be cl made clear that none of us are Xbox or PlayStation fanboys in no. either way. Neither of us have any console allegiances. I'm kind of a Nintendo no, fanboy. Like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> We all own and enjoy our Xbox 360s. Yeah. Just yeah. like there hasn't been much for us on this one specifically. No. I, I gave it a shot, but there wasn't anything for me, so I sold it. We were talking about just a second ago about Anthem, uh, and like the com <laughs> how it's everything that we should want, and yet no one no one cares. <laughs> Like, everything about it on paper sounds like the coolest thing ever. I think it was because that first trailer was just so off-putting, with the Ubisoft people talking over the entire thing, and it just seemed like Destiny 4. They hit the mark this time, but not... Ha like, I thought they were about to do that again, but they yeah. were, like, multiplayer, and then there was just no commentary. Thank yeah. God. But they had, like, 20 minutes before actual... They kept looping the same 30 seconds of gameplay over and over again! You, you said... You said literally the exact same thing a minute ago that Pat said while he was watching, which is great, so this is how Bioware dies. <laughs> That's, this is too bad, I don't want Bioware to die. No, I really, like, I like Bioware. I don't want this to be uh, Andromeda again. ...that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision 
and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. So for months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single developers, creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours, 50 games. Ooh, okay. Well, you know what? Agent exclusive. Well, well, we're how far in are we? And they've already beaten. We are three minutes in, and this is already objectively better than EA's yeah. conference. Some will be first timers on this stage. Unless, unless they also bring back beloved PC games as mobile games. <laughs> unless those 15 world premieres, other than the Halo one, are all are all classic. Like, like Wing like, Commander like, comes back <laughs> as like a mobile game. They're all like point and click adventure games from the 90s. Dude, it's all, it's all gotcha now. So let's jump in. Jump in to, let's jump into delaying Crackdown. No, I just love that, the exclusive. Yeah, yeah that's always so off-putting. Exclusive. Xbox One and Windows 10. Exclusive. Okay, okay cool. Okay, Cool, yeah. all right. I can't believe, that's, that is a pretty smart, like pick of where to go first, Halo first, then this. But keep it down, yeah. and we'll come back for more detail in a minute, as teased by the massive array of multiplayer things on the on the on the. No, that's yeah. gonna be for Halo on the Battle stage. Royale, which well, is then, and, then, and game. then jump into this. What happens when all the audience goes to sleep before this trailer's over, though? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I, I no need guns. to go grab my Mountain Dew. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to stay awake. You know they had complimentary. Shots there. Yeah. Have you played Ori or not? I have not. I, 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 I haven't played it, but I, I hear, gameplay and it I hear really nothing nice. but good things. Yeah. Visually, it's gorgeous, of course. Yeah. And you can see that here. Hollow Knight was on sale like a week ago, and I didn't get it. I feel really I'm like a real idiot. Well, there's a bunch of PlayStation stuff on sale now because of like E3. There's, there's big E3 sales going on for hardware and software from them right now. I guess not big. Some of, some of those sales are not as deep as I honestly expected them to be, but whatever. Mm -hmm. A lot of the hazards in this game look a lot like the hazards in Rayman Origins. The spikes just looked really similar to me. I need to play that since it was free. Legacy was, or Legends or whatever. The, yeah. the, the second of the Legends reboots was free. Was free is, is just we free can on just PlayStation give Plus. you our copy of Origins. Origins is on my list of games to hypothetically let's play on the channel because I love that game so much. But it's uh, that's obviously backburnered because of uh, other things that, yeah. we have a, that we have admittedly less stringent time limits on now. <laughs> Yeah. By a couple of months, dude. That <laughs> we're five minutes in, and they haven't what's said that, Battle Royale yet. What's that video at, like you guys, in like eight hours? Like five, yeah, dude. That that video that wasn't even gonna be a video. That was just me testing out recording stuff, and I happened to stumble into a That's reaction video. That's so great. Video. Twenty-three seconds ago, <laughs> that release date. If you're timing, if you had gone to that a half a minute earlier, where's that video would not have happened. Where's the Master Chief helmet pre-order bonus? I think they there learned their lesson one. with that kind of thing. It's a PlayStation exclusive. What is? The Master Chief helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Yeah. Tomb, Tomb Raider. Raider. Tomb Raider. I'm just like, I just uh, keep, I'm just going to keep saying that until it is Tomb Raider. This... This is... This is not Tomb Raider. I know it's not, but I think I know what this is. Is it that one game that was going to be in the deep dive thing? No, no, uh. it's not deep dive. That was, that was more like Knights than, uh, than Samurai. Okay, gotcha. I just know it was Japanese. This looks like Neo. That's that's what I was thinking, what? but that was a PlayStation game. Hold up! Then no, my second my second guess was I said Neo or Excuse me. Yeah. Then my two guesses were Neo or FromSoft and Hang and on, let's see if the leaks were correct about this. What were the leaks? I forget. Uh, give me a moment. I wanna see this. He wants to pay attention, let him pay attention. Your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The limb you have lost will give way to something more useful. So wait, now, now, now wait. To appreciate its worth. This now makes me think about the internal, the the sweating that was going on in FromSoft where they were developing this and then Neo came hey, out. Yeah. Hey, hey, another game with a grappling hook. Just want to point that out. Yes, also, this is true. Grappling hook tech, push it. Yeah, and okay. also, you just use the rice paddy this hat This is the generation of grappling funny. hooks. Hey guys, that 4 channel. This isn't for YouTube, but hey guys listening, it seems like that 4chan leak's pretty on point with this. 
Eastern uh, grappling hook, arm weapon transformation, possibly like Eastern post apocalyptic. What are you talking about post apocalyptic? Oh, this is in the this past. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> There's no oh. zombies. How Should could it be post apocalyptic? Yeah. It's gotta look like days gone, you know? Gotta have like millions of them. Yeah, so I was mistaken when we were filming the Kingdom Hearts playthrough and I said that that was one of the four games Sony would do in the quote oh, really? deep dive into. They were, they were actually gonna be doing Death Stranding, oh, not really? Days Gone. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. So we'll have a look oh at that gosh. finally. Oh my gosh, because yeah, I kept hearing people talking about, oh man, I can't wait to see Death Stranding. And I was like, oh, is that one of the four or There's, something? Oh, wow, they're, okay, yeah, this is not... Whoa. That looks like Monster Hunter f uh, yeah. World. This is not Dark Souls, fellas. There's a dedicated jump button. Shadows die twice. Sekiro! So this is... I'm, I'm, ooh. I could be wrong, but I guess this is a that brand was new. Was that the world serpent? That was spooky. Was that the world serpent no, from God of War? That's, that's, that's PlayStation. Bethesda oh, Bethesda. PlayStation now officially Whoa. has a Fallout Battle that, Royale okay. 76. Okay, I thought I saw tons of players walking out. It was just him oh walking gosh. through the arrays. There he is. What if what if it's the coward himself? <laughs> what, what if what if Fallout 76 meant it was 76 people for a Battle Royale game? That's that was the Well, the we'll, we'll see. Theory. We're 8 minutes in, so we've already beaten uh we've already doing? beaten Xbox. I mean, EA. We had three games that actually looked decent and no Battle Royale mention, so... You know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after Really? Across I didn't know! And, uh, Phil said to you mean me, the building that's got the big Vault Boy painted on it? You mean the building that's gonna blow up in a couple hours? <laughs> <laughs> and, look, I know Phil is really, really charming, um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. And the good news is, you're our friends, too. Because this is gonna be an Xbox One exclusive. Incredible. No, they, no. Then the building yeah, really no will way. blow up. I was just, I was making a joke about the cowards wanting to duck out of, <laughs> duck out of making announcements. Now it's gonna be an, if they announce this an Xbox One exclusive, it'll be an attack. Yeah. 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 Joey would automatically unregret his, his purchase of an Xbox One. <laughs> oh man. His on to purchase. His purchase and removal. With Fallout 4 Xbox Game Pass. Okay, all right, never all right. mind. All righty. So if you had an Xbox One, you'd get the game you already own for free, and that you dislike for free. Yeah. Hey, so there you go. Here, You're covered. We thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. If all the trailers are playing on those smaller yeah. monitors too, that'd be super distracting for people in the theater. Absolutely. I hope it's just during these sequences, and when the trailer's on, it's just the big screen. Is a prequel to all the other games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's the it's the it's the one of the first vaults that open. Yeah, oh, okay, it, gotcha. it takes place well, I think twenty years after the bombs drop. Because okay. all of, all of the vaults, I know you're not up on the the yeah. Fallout lore, Josh, but basically, all of the well, he's gonna tell it. Why am I even talking about it? Into an untamed and very different wasteland. All right, let's see Rust Fallout okay. Edition. So at least it is an RPG and not Battle Royale sim. Number That's seventeen thousand. But it's gonna be a multiplayer RPG, I'm sure. It's, it's, That's like it's pretty much it's the leaks are very, very conclusive on that. Yeah. It's really waste. So, that's a waste of nukes, having three fall that close to each other. Yeah, I agree. So basically, the um, uh, within Fallout, all of the vaults are set up by some people. Some people will correct me, I'm sure. That I'm, I'm making this simplified. They're essentially set up by an evil corporation, and oh, while they're supposed it. to be helping people survive from the apocalypse, they're actually all running weird social experiments. Except for 17 control vaults, and this is one of the control vaults. And this one in particular, its mission was they are leaving the vault literally like 20 years after the bombs drop. All of the other, all the other Fallout games take place like upwards of 200 years okay. after the yeah. bombs drop, yeah. and like, and Mad Max World is firmly established, whereas this time it's like, what even is out there? So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. That was basically the trailer they showed before, so now we're gonna jump into, yeah, more. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there. Pre-order! There it is. Yeah, Microsoft always has these little pop-ups in the corner, which I don't, which I, don't I, hate. I don't hate them. I do. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That's a new enemy type. This is really just looking like Fallout 4 right now. I'm sure. I mean, I'm, dude, this is absolutely. This is this is an no, asset I mean, flip no, of Fallout no, 4. I, I know that much, but I'm saying it's like 
you could have told me this was possibly DLC. Oh, you mean that there's not noticeable environmental differences? Yeah, that are like really... it, it literally, like half of these environments look like specific areas I could name from Fallout 4. For when the fighting is I'm sure. New. I'm sure the big difference is going to be no, yeah. Number one, enemy types. Number two. Like this, what what Not few settlements world. will exist are going to be totally different thematic. That was I'm actually sure. a pretty accurate no. rendering of the Ultimately, West Virginia Capitol building. I mean, I'm sure they they. These Fallout games always jump around between. We're like, not. Uh, we don't live in West Virginia. I just know what it looks like. Don't don't. They they us jump down. around between a lot of different um, real world locales yeah. in the Fallout Future games. Begins. Okay, so once again, that was an absolutely nothing trailer. Yeah. Well, that's well. You'll see more of it in a couple. We hours. didn't even yeah. get a janky dog. <laughs> You'll see more in a few hours. World premiere. Whoa, whoa. What if they just did all the world premieres immediately? Is this is another zombie game. Oh, this is gonna be uh, either um, another uh, don't nod game. Yo! <laughs> oh my god! Now we gotta make sure this audio is synced. Knew it. <laughs> How did I do it? <laughs> I do that so perfectly. <laughs> I was struggling for the Life is Strange name and I wasn't coming to it, so I went for the developer studio. So it's it's in the universe of Life is Strange, but not starring the characters of Life is Strange. You're drinking beer. Download for free in like two weeks. Oh, okay. Probably first episode is free. Oh, yeah. Or or it's or it is a short um four hundred days. Deal. Style. Remember, remember, 400 days after the first season of uh, uh, um, Telltale's yeah, The Walking yeah. Dead series. This about. could be like a like a really quick uh, turnaround experimental thing that's that's free for that purpose. So I didn't love. Um, so is this just Spaceman Spiff the game? Yes, that's correct. Awesome. Spaceman Spiff the game. No, I so I didn't I didn't love um, Life is Strange. There were things about it that were really interesting, and like I don't I have no I have no. Dislike I, of that I game, have but it's not. I swear up and down by it, but I've never been interested in it. It's I, I watched I watched, I played the first episode of it and I watched most of it after that, and it's it's absolutely fine. It's good. It's just not my it's not my jam, I guess. I am more impressed by the 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 turnaround series of Don't Nod or whatever their name is from from Remember Me to jumping into Whoa, basically becoming. No way. Yes. Seriously. Remember Me was their launch game, and then they turned around and did Life is Strange. I didn't it was know a, that. That was okay, why that was why Life is Strange kind of looks a little bit crappy, and the animation isn't so great because it was a really low budget. Like, okay, let's try and do something else. This episodic structure. Hopefully, we can try and recoup costs a little bit off of Remember Me because you know, J Jacob, shut nobody up. remembers it. It's it's Tomb Raider. It's Crackdown? Yeah, it's Crackdown again. <laughs> Are they, please have a new release date. Yeah, this is Crackdown. Yeah, he, he said Crackdown out loud, and there's Crackdown logos on the sides. Xbox One and Windows 10. Exclusive. This is Terry Crews, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds like him. Yeah, that's him. That was yeah, that was absolutely a 3D model of Terry Crews. So he's, he wasn't just... I thought maybe he was just shilling for it in the ads. He's actually he's a character in, in the game. Great. It's really dumb. I hate that they really gave him awesome. a different name. They should have just called him Terry Crews. Yeah. They really should have. I'm pretty sure his name is just Terry in Brooklyn Nine Nine. I don't. I've. I'm. I'm now that I say that, I'm probably completely wrong. Oh man, they're bringing the orbs back. Are they gonna bring back a release date? Nope. Holy crap! Just Cause Two. No, that's. This was yeah. Just Cause before Just Cause. Kind oh, okay, of. Yeah. gotcha. See, I don't know anything. Crackdown Two was a very fun game. I only I got in I got into it way after it was already dead. Yeah, it was fun. Crackdown is a futuristic superhero themed version of Just Cause. Gotcha. Good landmaster. Charles Barkley. Honestly, Terry Crews is a very good choice for this. Yes. Absolutely, he's Charles the Barkley best. would be the only better choice. Because mm -hmm. no, that's no. not true. <laughs> Shaq would be a good choice. Shaq would be a, f yeah, but he's too busy with his own game with Shaq Fu too. Oh, of like course, I forgot like, about, I forgot yeah, about Shaq Fu too. Was that a banana bomb? But it was a duck bomb. Yep. Yes. That was a. That's a Worms reference. I. I, yep. I got the worms February twenty nineteen. Is that? Yeah, that was what they said previously. Yeah, they, okay. they 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 like so it's they announced delayed. it's pushed. We can oh, we can play that. Yeah. We'll play that like a month after. Oh, yeah, no, did, yeah, yeah, did you see this? I saw uh, this was coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting ported with um uh, with new DLC. Hey. Hey, oh, really? Without new DLC, with some of the DLC included, my, okay. my mistake. Yeah, no, good for this, because, hey, this game is absolutely fantastic, and I would love to have more people play it. 
Like me. But how many people I'd are love gonna to play, play this game? On a, I don't you know already Xbox. know everything, though. What's the point? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who cares if I know everything? Become as God's edition. That is fantastic. Yeah, see, Xbox doesn't care. Do you see how few people clap? Even the, even the Microsoft employees barely clapped. Yeah, they were But like, also, eh, this, was, this was announced Japan. a couple hours ago, so. Okay, here we go. More Metro, because yeah. that's still delayed and whatnot. We're, <laughs> dude, we're 18 minutes into this, and no, and no Battle Royale name this drop. This might have Battle Royale. Also, like, one new game. Or two. The smoke can steal your, your breath. breath. <laughs> Dimitri! You always survive. You don't need legs to knock the feet out from under the fascists. Forward to victory! Stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed. No, I, like, I'm low-key very interested in this. Absolutely. Metro was, a, the first game was really cool. I haven't played the second one yet, but I, I just, I like the world. Let us steal ourselves against them. That, and I was always really impressed by the whole, like, concept of, like, you can use the good bullets, or you can trade the good bullets in yeah. for really, a lot of really bad bullets. actually, hold on, let me see if I can find something really quickly. Because, like, you can use the good bullets as currency, or shoot yeah, them, right? Yeah, or shoot them, because they're good bullets, and they yeah. won't screw your gun Because what's, what's valuable in a world like this? What would be used as currency? It would be bullets. bullets. Let me find, really quick, because there's something really interesting that I gotta find um, that was written about this. Ooh. Oh, man, weapon customization. I don't or, know if they changed it. Where are the Nazis? But I knew in the first one, like the big thing is like you can't be on the surface for very long because of all the radiation. It seems but, they're doing away with that. But this, where which is where are the Nazis? They want blood. They will get it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. Ooh. Ooh. Big monsters. I mean, I did have those before, but still. Yeah, so this, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I might include, like, the picture or something on screen, but there was a Reddit AMA a while ago where the author of the Metro novels kind of talked about why Rush, like, why, like, this, this post-apocalypse and Western post-apocalypses are treated really differently. It was like, you know, after the American, the, after the Civil War, Americans have really only experienced two huge catastrophes on their own territory, Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Russian history was that of a non-ending catastrophe over the last several centuries where we became countless victims of our neighbors, uh, but much more often of our own rulers uh, and our humble selves. Russian cities have been destroyed, turned into ashes, and bombed to the ground. We the people have been decimated, Release executed, day. gassed, starved to death, and sent to construction sites in permafrost from which no one can come back. Your history is drama, ours is tragedy. That, that gives us a different angle on just how much fun you can have with the concept of apocalypse and how far you can go it, with it. It's coming out the same day as Crackdown. Okay, cool. But yeah, there's that that AMA. Uh, there's there's more to that. Like I said, I'll put a picture or something yeah. in the description because it's, it's neat. Yeah. How did you get here, Mr. Four <laughs> How did you get here to the middle of the audience? That, that, that man's a, shirt says "Lord Hot Monkey." Yeah, God, I still, oh my God. I still I cannot Xbox. believe, I still cannot believe that respawn reveal with that Star Wars game. <laughs> oh, like yeah. that was infuriating. I like not that I care about the game that much, but like, what even was that? Was not a logo, not a screenshot. After. After the previous three years of sizzle and hype of developers standing in rooms and going, oh man, we're so excited for this, and swelling music and mocap stages of people doing lightsaber fights. <laughs> and you're like, man, we can't wait to show you more! And then it's like, yeah, we're working on a Star Wars game. It's called <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's gonna come out in 2019. Good. Kingdom Hearts! I oh knew my it. god, I Joey, know what cover that your is! Eyes, take your earphones out. All right. I was gonna say, and they beat me to it, I bet we'll actually see something at this event now. There's Holy Frozen. Crap. All right, y'all do your thing. I'm just gonna be playing my stupid gotcha games. Oh, never mind. I, don't have I kind of, ex I kind of expected it's, them. Hey, it's the Frozen World <laughs> of Frozen. So the particular thing that I was saying earlier to you guys, Frozen was, confirmed for Kingdom Hearts. This is the three. wrong conference to reveal Frozen at, though. Yeah. But anyway. Absolutely. The yeah. thing that I was saying to you guys the other day. We knew it was gonna happen for the last not 17 the other day. years, though. The thing that I was gonna say to you guys earlier was that, um, these guys look good. Yeah, the thing I was yeah. gonna say is that, well, maybe the reason they announced the release date at the, at that at conference last night is so that they can have a perfect combo breaker chain of um, being, like reveals, of being yeah. the main focus of an entire two days of E3. Oh my gosh! I see it, I see they're it. They're just copying Breath of the Wild! 
Uh, that was a mini game. Don't get too excited. Um, but no, I I am willing to bet that like it's you know we announced the release date last night. We show a trailer at Xbox. We come back tomorrow with an appearance at you know at the um on the the Square Enix show obviously, and we maintain that momentum all the way until Sony and Nintendo come in with whatever they're going to oh, do man, and actually ship. impress people. This looks good. No, it possibly. doesn't. It looks just the same as two. That's not true. Oh look, it's the song again. Is it a bad song? Oh, she killed it. She killed that thing. That's amazing. That's Sora's <laughs> like, I wish I could kill that fast. <laughs> he can. You can also control Ice Sora. Yes. <laughs> what are you so excited about? It's hurt people. This is my home. <laughs> He's home. like, wow. Oh, wow. You, you can control Ice. I can control. I know like element. seventeen people who can do that. <laughs> this is really the wrong conference for this yeah. tone of trailer. Oh yeah. This they should have really gone bad. for high speed, high octane, high action hype. They even tried to do that with the 15 demo two years ago that was terrible. Yeah. They were like, well, we're gonna throw this thing at the thing. We're gonna throw this thing at the thing, and that's science. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting worse for Xbox. Yeah, absolutely. I feel Play, really- Playing this song and having this pacing on Xbox's stage is a mistake. Oh God. Look, it's the lady. Oh, dude. She gets to hang out and be a sadist around around the sad times girl. Don't don't spoil that. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's fine. She's dude. I, t I guarantee you, she's not going to exchange a single word of dialogue with any of the Disney characters. <laughs> it's the same structure. Dude, that is we that saw. Peter Pan? No. <laughs> it's going to be the same structure that we saw with the stuff. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. What the heck? This is... You look like he was mounted on a wall. Knew it. I knew... I was What I was hoping for was that that kind of thing would happen with her. Yeah. Just kill her now. Just yeah, kill her now. Just kill her now. Just kill her. Yeah. Just kill her. Just kill that character that Joey doesn't know who we're talking about. Nope. Just kill them. Like kill them all, Riku. <laughs> <laughs> Though that doesn't make sense with time acceleration no. working the way that we know it does. Okay, Joey, no. put your earphones in. They're talking about Sea of Thieves. Whoa. Dude, Whoa. 400 million players. One, But only 1.5 <laughs> million friends made? How does that work? How does that math add up? Yeah. Whoa. There was the Megalodon. Ah, the, the, the wicked Meg Turney. <laughs> she done stole Sea Sniffer away from us. It said previously on Sea of Thieves. What? So this is going to be major update expansion. Maybe Please come back, I bet. I actually like meeting new people. Uh, besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I guarantee you it's going to be just like what we saw with the stuff with the premiere event for KH3 a couple months ago, now, where those characters will show up, say a few cryptic lines of dialogue to Sora, and then leave. Yeah, and then we'll just fight him It'll at the final boss. It'll be just yeah. like that other game. Uh, and, and that it's other gonna... game you mean Kingdom Hearts? Shut up! We're not going to spoil which game it is because there's somebody in the room. The Two. Vcast. Two, good joke. Yeah. Good joke. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is just gonna be like this is gonna be just like Kingdom Hearts V cast. Man, I'm so interested in this. I, I honestly I'm like, interested. Why I not? like Sea of Thieves like as a concept, but this is just is not like Listen, no, know. if if they if they pull out a couple of expansion packs that make this game into what people wanted it to be before launch, then that's good. And if this is that, then then do it. But this cinematic trailer doesn't tell me that. No, I no. need to see I need to see, like, get somebody on stage explaining what's being added, you know what I mean? I need to see, like, mechanical explanations of what's happening. Fine, I'll give you ten for it. Cursed sails and broken sh So, two separate expansion packs, but you need to tell me how robust they are before any before I or anybody no, else man, can care. That, no, that requires work. It's just to have one pro I guess- Which trailer was that for? For the one on the left or the one on uh, the left? Oh, okay, Battlefield Five. To be fair, you're right, but to be fair, they're trying to do the Sony thing, where it's back to back to back trailer, 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 and having somebody come out on stage and but explain that right now good. Yeah. wouldn't work. Yeah, you're right. But they should have had something more to that trailer to explain text, what those expansion packs text contain. Text in the trailer. And here we go. Let's see. Impress me. If they can do something a little bit less schizophrenic, if they can capitalize on the good moments of of one's campaign yeah. and cut out the garbage. Then they might have a decent game. campaign on their hands. 
Pretty sure there were a lot of people left in Norway fighting. That was like one of the big things about Norway. I want to point out one thing right now. Okay. Nobody's speaking English. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it's it's neat if they. Because that means they don't have to have good voice actors. No, I'm that's so not. No, I just mean that I'm so used to all these games, like the Germans just miraculously speak. As soon as, as soon as they, they need just to go, have, Avanda and then I they do nothing else. America. As soon as they need to have time in cutscenes, they start speaking yeah. English. But in gameplay, they're still screaming in German. Kroim in the premiere, guys. Is this Skyrim Seven? Oh. oh. Cars. I love cars. And then Sergeant Nicholas Angel pulls him over and says, So are you aware how fast you were going? Man, I, I play so little racing games, I can't even think of a joke for this. <laughs> I think the joke is, why hasn't this just been shelved yet? What are you talking about? Because people it still buy it. What are you money. even talking about? Thanks to the huge dollars. People love these types of games, just not like... I've got Mario Kart 8 with all the DLC on Wii U, so I don't need another racing game for now. And technically, I have Mod Nation Racer, that? so I have infinite racing games. Hey, what about that new Sonic racing game to which they oh, man. explicitly... That's, that's going to show up during this. They explicitly said, don't worry, guys, this is not a sequel to that really good one that you all liked. This is a brand new one. <laughs> Wait, which really good one? Uh, all Stars Racing. Sonic, Sonic oh, yeah. R, duh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought you were talking about. We promise, guys. Is this in England? Any of the things this is in England. The They're all over the place. These Forza games go all over the place. They uh, go to all kinds of iconic locales and, and race tracks. Dude, they, that's the thing I understand. As this, goes on, as this goes on, this is looking less like a Forza game. But I already know from the graphics and the types of cars that they're showing that this is a Forza game. No matter See, how I, hard I understand what's going on there because it involves trucks going off road, and I'm from the south, and that's all we do here. Yeah. We, we aren't even really from the south, you and I. We're from we're from the world. We're from all over the place. <laughs> I am a citizen of the world. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, no that problem. was a good Kingdom Hearts 2 reference. <laughs> you can kill chickens in this game. I don't like that. Well, they, do they attack game. you like in Zelda? Yes. But you can't kill them in Zelda. So here's the real question, right? So so this the. the <laughs> uh, <laughs> well. Why? So there's been a questionable amount. Yeah, Horizon. There you go. So there's been a questionable amount of um uh, of not a questionable amount. A lot of Wii U ports coming to Switch, right? Yeah. Like we, so this new Smash game is going to be an updated version of Smash 4. Yeah. We've That's got Mario really Kart 8 Deluxe, games. right? The real question is, some of these games reliably always have one turnaround on every single Nintendo system. There is always a Mario Kart game on every single system. Yeah. After the, other than Game Boy Color, all their handhelds have got it, every console's got it, right? Yeah. So the question is, will we get Mario Kart 9 before the Switch's life cycle is up? Yes. You think so? Yeah. I would very much like to have another Mario Kart yeah. before the console cycle. If this is Smash 4.5, will we get a Smash 5? Uh, no, it'll, it'll be Smash... In a couple of years. It'll be 5.7. On, on the Switch, no. No, we absolutely will not get another, another Smash. I was using that as an example, yeah. uh, like a comparable thing. We will not get another Smash game on the Switch, guaranteed. What if they Mario say Battle Royale Kart's now during this presentation? I just looked over at the timer and it said 30 minutes, and I was like, what if they drop Battle Royale for Forza? <laughs> English countryside. He has chosen All the beautiful, the beautiful English, English countryside. countryside. That was like the most Scottish um, English that wasn't, thing ever. Yeah, whatever. I'll be right back. Give me one well, second, Scotland's gentlemen. I'll return momentarily. I'm not leaving because of cars. I'm leaving because I have something I need to take care of. He's leaving because of die, cars. Please. And please welcome Andy, who's off-road buggy. It's perfect. Oh, great. Now there's two of us that don't care anything about uh, car games to oh, sit here no. and talk about this car game. See, at least he can relate this to, like, Mario Kart. I hadn't even thought of that. Like, I'm just going to sit here silent. I haven't gotten to Mario Kart since the Wii Mario Kart. Oh, really? I didn't even beat that. Oh, well, I guess you can't really beat him, but I didn't unlock everything. I unlocked everything in the original version of 8, and then once 200 C... And, I, and then when the, the DLC packs came out, I 100%ed it again. But then when 200 CC came out, I was like, I can't do this. I don't. I love myself I too much. I would have absolutely loved him to just collide into those people. That would have been great. So are these multiple people doing multiple races? Right? They're battle royaling, right? Yeah. This is this is Force of Battle Royale. No, this is this is G, this is GTA 5 Online. <laughs> They're racing to get to the first gun. <laughs> By the brand new 60 FPS mode. 60 frames per oh, second. Oh, 60 frames. Brand new. Breaking news. 60 4K, FPS. 4K, 4K. Oh. <laughs> Fools. It's still. <laughs> oh, I love cars. 
Come on, guys, don't make fun of the guy because he's playing. Whoa, the game. it changed it! Whoa! Are they dropping actual leaves uh -huh. on these people? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's not a bad that's effect, a but it's just. <laughs> that's a lot of leaves. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but it would get annoying. It's gonna get very annoying, especially when one of these people doesn't see him coming, gets one stuck in their eye. Oh, there! There's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's not what these messages are gonna be saying. You want, that you is, want me to teach you how to drift? That is quite possibly. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about Booyah and like, you know, the little prompts yeah. help me from, from Splatoon. I think Wanna Drift is quite possibly the best video game chat E3 build of all time. That's good. Like, people are already making memes about that right now. Choo choo. Choo choo? Oh, this is so self aware. That's great. Choo choo and Wanna Drift. He literally, did you see he just plowed straight yeah. through that stone wall and literally did not even slow oh, down? Yeah, no, dude. Strong cars. They were gonna murder them sheep, destroy the economy of England. To be fair, this is how you out. No, this is this is how we stop Brexit, you guys. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, granted that Forza has been moving in this direction for a couple of games now. Yeah. But like, this is also they can't like you can't do direct competition with Gran Turismo. It just doesn't like. Now that there's been a Gran Turismo yeah. game recently, but my point is that like. There's probably not room for both of those, mm -hmm. so they might as well do this that, instead. That is cool, because in the one season you can, like, drive over the lakes and stuff. That is kind of cool. These games are always cool. It's just nothing that I'm going to put Oh, yeah, no, I'm just saying that's a cool feature that I don't think they've had before. games where you can download other people's customized, like, wraps on their cars where there's a bunch of anime girls. Uh, most of those games have that nowadays. Yeah, but I'm talking, like, one of them has, like, super high-quality anime girls. Look at that. Team up to beat I don't know which anime. I don't know, but I have never had any anime girls that aren't high-quality, Joey. Oh, God, shut up. Oh, you're speaking to me right now in my own language. For spring, they should just like dump buckets of water on the people. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if they drop like during the during the Kingdom Hearts three trailer, if they drop snow on people, but I doubt it. The frozen world of frozen. That is that takes man that takes me back to that Smash Master show. Like I showed Joey that fake trailer for Kingdom Hearts three in high school before he'd played any of those games. Oh yeah. The fake the fake and, frozen and, reveal. And that was also like five years ago. Yes. I think that's the funny thing about that. But we all know that was gonna be in there for five, like even like, I remember like a year after the game was announced, Tai Yasue, co-director of KH3 was like, yeah, my daughter loves Frozen, so yeah, I'd love that to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's like, whatever, it doesn't matter. There really wasn't much in the trailer you could, I guess, what am I talking about? There, was no, that was, there were absolutely things in that trailer you couldn't have that seen. That was the only thing they've shown gameplay for so far. About 50% of that Kingdom Hearts 3 so trailer, far. Joey, you could have watched and it wouldn't have mattered, and the other 50% you definitely could not have watched. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Why didn't they call it Forza? They showed they showed Kyrie's Why? corpse explicitly. Oh, Seriously. Why didn't they call it Forza? For Z A. Why didn't they call it Splat Tune? Yeah. I do have to I do have to apologize to you, Joshua. Why? Um because yesterday we didn't realize this until we were watching the recording. We were talking we were talking about um uh, Battlefront, right? And they were talking about all the characters that are gonna be added in for the Clone Wars season. Yeah. And and they said the most the leader of the droid army. The most or powerful droid and, army. And and you said, Isn't that Count Doku? And I said, No, 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 he's not he doesn't he's not a general. That's great. And then you said, He's a political idea I forgot, he's a political idealist. And I missed you saying that while we were actually yeah. recording. When you were editing it, and I was sitting over there on that sofa working on a script, and I just heard you go, Of course, he's a political idealist. I laughed harder. Then I laughed until a couple hours later when I was up at midnight talking with Joey about Kingdom Hearts 3. I, that was, that was, because I just totally missed it when we were recording. Oh man, it was, that was hilarious. I was helping my friend uh, through Bloodborne, and I was like, wait, what? Like, I, I, out loud, I was like, excuse me? And yeah. I said, Kingdom Hearts, and then you called, and so my voice just cut out, and they all texted me, like, are you alright? Are you, did you die? No, you so the, the exact sequence of events, I didn't put it in that video, obviously, was I sent Joey a text at 12.30 a.m., KH3, January 29th, 2019, then another text, not a drill, announced at a concert, to which Joey simply replied, excuse me, no punctuation, <laughs> no, lowercase. Oh, oh my gosh, the what initiative. The initiative? They're, they're, it's their organized crime division. It's the syndicate. Yeah. A visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world class. Did it say who the person was? Because my first guess is um uh, new game not what's her name um a Amy Henning. Henning yeah. I'm excited to welcome. Because she's out of work. Undead Labs to Microsoft Studio. Oh, that's a bad name. Lord. 
Boss, what? is it boss? You mean oh. boss keys? No, you gotta remember. You gotta remember. Xbox is the is the only like group of gamers that still like zombies. They're building a zombie survival franchise. Zombie survival yeah, zombie survival battle this, royale. This has game. to have battle royale. And in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Did they say? What did they say? State of decay. State of decay. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. It's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired playground games. Hmm? Who's that? I don't know. I guess they make cars. I'm, I'm gonna look it up since I really don't. Yeah, please do. Right I miss what they were. I should have been paying more attention. I actually would like. This is the thing when we're when we're up. Work on Forza Horizon. They're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that okay. later. No, my point was gonna be that typically when you and I are just watching these, Joshua, we don't talk when other right. people are talking. But there's some other one. Ninja Theory. To Ninja. My what? Oh, who, okay, what do they cool. do again? What do they do again? They've done some stuff recently. They did um, uh, Hellblade, What's Her Face's Sacrifice, which was like, yeah. yeah, rave reviews. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, playground games. They do the, the Forza. Oh, okay. Larger Forza franchise publisher. So they just they just got folded into Microsoft officially. Okay. Let me see games developed. That doesn't matter. It's not gonna tell me. Never mind. All right. In creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. Who? Hey. They, they make, um, uh, they that make, weird uh, game. um, uh, We Happy Few. Ah. We Happy hey. Few is, release, is, is nearing its full release to gamers everywhere. Yeah, that's been in, that's been in the works for a while. So, so that's that's another situation where they, I, you know what, you know what, I always like it when these companies. I mean, obviously they're making a lot of money off of it. It's advantageous for them too. But when they go in and they help folks like that or like the Cuphead guys finish up these ridiculous projects that they're working well, the on. Well, Cuphead guys, they they more screw them over the game yeah. than yeah. the beginning. So. But you know what, the game came out and, and, and well, they they so. probably have a house now. Yeah, because <laughs> they, 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 they like mortgage, they, yeah they mortgaged yeah. their homes to make that game. Isn't that the decision we all made? I guess, like, I guess my point is that regardless of business screwings overs, yeah, Cuphead probably would not have happened. Yeah, yeah path otherwise, from friends. it's quite yes. possible. Gearbox. There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death, and they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not known? That was classy that they bleeped there. Honestly, that I, I like that. Ubisoft won't. No, Ubisoft won't, and I hate it. I'm sorry. Like, it's not, it's just like, ugh, swearing bad words is like, I, it's unprofessional. Obviously, this is a pre rendered cutscene, cut but I can definitely see the up production value from some of their, like, the previous, like, opening cutscene sequence that they let you play through. Basically, for those who are not aware, I guess this may be even more of an obscure reference, honestly, but it's like, you, you know, you know those old Team Fortress 2 trailers. Not, not well, it's not even that old. It's one of the more recent Team Fortress 2 trailers where you saw like the Pyro's perspective on the world, yeah, yeah. and it was all sunshine, rainbows, and lollipops. Yeah. The idea is this is a world where everybody takes a pill that makes you see that, even though the world is a horrible, decaying Orwellian nightmare. Basically, is the idea. So is this one going to be actual, just like, camp, like story now? That's not just build and survive. Or? I mean, it was always going to have a story with survival aspects. It's just they released the survival stuff as like early access, just okay. to like to build the tension, I guess. And then it took longer to come out than they were anticipating. It was it was always going to have all of this. Just the only part of it that we'd seen was kind of like this ten minute like interactive opening sequence that they released a while ago, and then okay. never seen any of the other stuff. They'll murder each other in the street. Insert, I'm not feeling so good joke. <laughs> <laughs> the internet wouldn't shut up about those, regardless of how... There was even a was Kingdom Hearts one. There, no, I mean, like, just, like, in general. Console launch exclusive. It's like... So. Oh, it's, ba it's, it's Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. That's... Hold on! They didn't say it, but that there was it! Is. All right. Hold on. We are... Ah, uh, where'd it go? Freaking nerd. 41 minutes in. 41 Freaking minutes nerd in. Put a password code on his phone. It just, just let people system? steal your phone. What's the point of this, though? We are, The game's already out. Why are we getting And it, out we know it doesn't run on yeah, your hardware. Yeah, we know it doesn't work, right? 
I refuse to believe um, that all those Why are they using an happen? inferior cover of this song? Yeah. Ba -na, ba -na, I mean, we know it's gonna... Na, okay, ba -na, ba -na, ba -na, so... We know, na, we know that this is three conferences where Battle Royale is confirmed, because we know the that Nintendo's is gonna have it. The frame rate oh, every yeah, because Nintendo's right. gonna have Fortnite for sure. It's been leaked I thought by, like, Nintendo was gonna announce their own Battle Royale game, <laughs> and I'm Mario really Battle confused. Royale. Yeah. More like Splatoon Space Battle Royale, but Battle dude, Royale. dude, Legend, uh, Breath of the Wild that's, Battle dude, Royale would that's be what, freaking awesome. That's why the roster for the new Smash has to be so big, because it's gonna be a Battle Royale mode, and there's gonna be one of each character oh on the map goodness. at a time. That's why it's gotta have a roster of like 60 characters. We never knew. It was right in front of us the whole time. So, so we're, is this a new map or? Is where, so there's there's the smaller map that they released in testing a little while ago that's gonna go out in public soon and we're expecting like at least winter what, 2018 for what? The winter map. For what? The winter map. No, but like, but like what's coming out? Just the winter map? Yes. That was stupid. That was real dumb. Did it, it, did, clap it, it, it said at the bottom, game is unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but I thought it came okay, out officially last fall. Early access, world premiere, I can't wait. Tomb Raider. Wait. Oh. Uh, it, uh, yeah. I heard rumors about this. It's a remaster this? of Vespera. Okay. Which is generally considered to be the best of the Tales games, I think. That's what Best Friends Matt was saying. And it's also, it was that. also, this was single-handedly responsible for bumping 360 sales in Japan by like 500 percent. Really? Because oh, really? yeah, because it was a, it was a 360 exclusive, but everybody needed their Tales games. So like, just all of these, all of these fans went out and bought 360s exclusively for this game and nothing else. The only one I played is I played a decent chunk of the co-op of Zillia with Jake. Mm -hmm. um, but that was years ago, and I don't remember very much. This is this is debatably one of like the top five most important Xbox exclusives of all time in terms of raw sales numbers. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm being sarcastic, but I just mean like in particular for breaking into a market that they have no control, no yeah. saturation in at all. Yeah. Like this is the only time that they got something that was that was a noticeable blip on the radar in Japan. A lot of this is new, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm not an expert, but a lot of that stuff we were just seeing, like, those would look like, like, Final Fantasy twelve quickenings or, yeah, uh, or, yeah. or, like, you know, all-out attacks from Persona. I think some of that was new, but I'm not an expert because I've never actually played this. Okay. But I've seen dude, a lot of footage dude, of it. I want to hear how attacks. few claps there are from the Xbox crowd. Here. None. Let's listen. Very, very minor. Yeah. People love that game, but I'm not. I haven't played any. Like you said, you played a couple of them. I've never touched any of the Tales games. I started watching a few, and I was just like, "This is doing nothing oh, for me." World premiere. <laughs> oh no! In world premiere, really? Evolve two. The most heavily protected city on Earth. This is sarcastic. Uh, this is sarcastic. It's MW two. This is sarcastic. This isn't going to be real. This is going to be like a, this is going to be like a a reveal of a you know like a like a sun sun watch overdrive or whatever, whatever that game was called. If this wasn't Microsoft, I would think. That. Yes, I don't think that because that's this is that Microsoft. specific voiceover at the beginning felt sarcastic. Dude, this is going to get the most applause of anything because people are going to take this seriously. The other guess is this is di my first guess was the Division Two, and then I thought sarcastic. No, this is going on too long to be sarcastic. So now I'm thinking Division Two. America is on the brink of collapse. Division Two. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops. Their fences patrolled with rifles. In communities that live under constant siege. I'm feeling very confident with Division Two prediction yeah. now. Of urban warfare. Centuries ago, I was hoping that urban warfare would just be the title. Brother fought brother. <sighs> oh my god, it, dude, remember, remember, remember the, the Civil, Civil War? War? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Have a slavery allegory, please. A That's all you need now. Lurks in the shadows. Will David Cage make an appearance at E3 2018? <laughs> I really I hope, hope not. So. Civil War! <laughs> Holy crap, I love that That Marvel was a good movie. Marvel movie. But how do you save a nation? When its enemies come from within. Why is this trailer so elaborate? Um, you this take is absolutely the, the dip down. Yeah. The white and orange, yeah. I God, I can't believe this still exists. And see, it got the most applause of anything. I, I yeah, that was actually a lot of applause mm. for In something that should not I receive any you. applause. And Xbox gamers are dumb. Sorry, Xbox gamers. You gotta remember that there's a Three huge chunk of that audience that's this. employees, so. 
you oh man Yubi. Ubisoft Yubi, as they like to call themselves this is this is the Donkey Kong uh, DLC yeah the, for... the Assassin's Creed <laughs> Donkey Kong Island yeah Wait. Oh no. This, no. this is still the division, though. Why are we in the jungle now? Because he has the little circle. Well, it said it was like, you know, footage and in game footage, work in progress. No, but why? But we're in Washington. Is Washington, D.C. this now? Yeah. That's not how global warming works. Hey, you've never been there. You don't know. I have been to I Washington, D.C. You didn't go to the real have. Washington, D.C. <laughs> I went to the it. decoy. Yeah. You went to the fake one that they set up. Oh, for we're, in, we're in a we are in a uh, we are in a zoo in Washington. No, no, this is where the Peace Walker project is. Oh, yeah, we were in a. Zoo. Are you, a we're in the White House. No, we're in a zoo in Washington oh, D.C. Are you kidding See? me? This they tricked is, us. They I'm tricked sorry. Us. This is dumb. No, dude, that was great. Uh, they Six months me. after there was an outbreak, it turned Washington D.C. That person would not shoot it and then leave the shotgun for you. I'm sorry. Even if it was trash, they'd pick it up. Dude, we're gonna. I love how we're gonna. Oh, it's we still, we're keeping the Christmas theme. Dude, I love how we're gonna walk outside at some point here and see like you know, um, the cap either the Capitol or the or the White House. Frames are dropped. Be like, gotta clap for. We it. didn't sync up at the beginning of this, and we just had to restart the recording. So that's great. That's who cares. Oh boy, this is gonna be a nightmare. Hey, let me just talk to this guy. No, you can sync it up to the the not life is strange. You're right. I can sync it up to me for, to saying that. Okay, perfectly. thank God it's not actually a jungle. I told you, I just said it's just because no, we were inside no, of the children's zoo. No, it was zoo. a jungle. I feel like Washington, D.C. is a serious step down in terms of environmental yeah. complexity and, and intrigue from New York City. But it's then also again, a way less nice city. Then again, one of the big problems with the division was... The, yep, told you. Then again, one of the big problems with the division was that New York is too much. Yeah. New York is too much. You should have a new side mission on the map. Yeah, we're not that far. Let's listen it's to a Ubisoft, Ubisoft game. I've always yeah. got at least 20 new side missions on the map. Just ahead of us, Matt. Wait, I, I've not been paying attention. This this, this isn't in-game dialogue. This is no. Fake this is gamer, gamer dialogue. This is fake gamer dialogue. Yeah. I'll be up in a sec. This is fake gamer dialogue. Pay attention, Joey. Okay, See? Please help. I've been busy. She's don't awkward because she's a gamer. Just keep listening. Keep listening. A lot of loot down there. I don't care. This is funny. No, no. So you know what's great, guys? Did you know that there's a division Almost feature there. film in production or in pre-production? You've got to be kidding me. dead in the cradle. Oh, is it though? Is it though? Are you? You're looking at the Division Two. I, I love that. They're making this, and they won't make a Metal Gear movie. This is Why where would we they? are. They've been trying to make a Metal Gear movie for ages. Now Konami will kill that deader than a rock if they yeah. can, and nobody's interested in that anymore. I'll and a Metal Gear it. movie wouldn't have worked anyway. I thought everybody learned their lesson and not have fake gamer talk. No. There are exactly two Metal Gear. Hey, games. it's Air Force One. Remember that movie with Harrison Ford? There are two. Wait, how would there be anything left? in Air Force One. There'd be no point in scavenging Air Force One. Air Force no. One would have been drained of anything and everything. And also, it Two days be after I'm it sorry, crashed. it would not be down. It, it would not be. still be in DC. They would have taken that sucker off the second that Washington DC was at risk. Maybe got shot down. You would not. There's an enemy to your left, you stupid video game player. <laughs> no, no, this AI sucks. It's like the AI yeah, from the Battlefront 2 campaign. That's actually just proving it's like, yeah, this enemy is stupid. Or maybe they were like, oh, I'll distract them, but you can't. You can't. It doesn't work that way. I've never heard of drawing aggro. Whoa! This is literally the exact same as the original E3 presentation and demo. They walked through some city streets, then they walked into a firefight, and then someone used a little mobile drone roller gadget to go and blow somebody up behind cover. It is the same. Are it is gonna, the same. Is somebody, are they gonna betray somebody after this? Then yes. they're gonna walk in here, shoot a few more guys, and then they're gonna find a loot box with a very nice gun inside of it and go, oh, dude, sweet. Uh, yeah. oh, dude. Sweet Jairus Wrath. Oh, dude, nice. Oh, no. Now my friend is dead. No, my friend. No, this guy's just my like, friend. Leaving. Wait, why aren't you shooting the boss? Why there, haven't they been focusing on this guy? There are three three Metal Gear games that would actually convert into good movies. You could combine Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 to make a good movie. No, not, not like not Solid like, 1 would be a not, good movie. Not better. like literally playing yeah. the events of both games back to back. I mean, combining the events of yeah. both games into yeah. one narrative. Like they did with Tintin and like three books. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where they took three Tintin books and made them into one adventure. Yeah. Um, and and then you do MGS one, MGS three. Yeah, those are yeah. the only ones that would convert to film well because MGS two is like is it's, like it's such a specific much. video game thing of like, hey, video games, am I right, fellow gamers? 
Solid Metal Gear Solid 2 is literally about, hey, internet isolationism and sequels, and it's like, nothing in it, nothing, even Let's by the internal the standards gamers. of Metal Gear Solid Jacob, 2, nothing in Jacob, that game is You don't canon. know anything about gaming. Hey, These you, fake you, gamers you do. You missed it, guys. He picked up an orange. Look, you see those? You see all the stuff that's still in here? None of this stuff would still be here. No, of course not. Holy crap, that's a good gun. The cushions right. on those chairs would be gone. Because the cushions on the... Whoa, that's nuts. Whoa. He didn't react to that at all. Let's check it out. Let's, che let's run towards the gunfire. Because that's what you do in real life. Especially or in, when even you in got video no games, cover. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's like XCOM, when you just have all your guys just right together. Do you what? know what? No, you would not... Okay, okay. so there was there were no... What, huh? Oh, it's just a turret, dude. Okay, they would all reveal. be dead. They would all be dead Th that, there. Wow, thanks. Let me explain to you how that would actually happen with real gamers. Those bullets would come in, everybody would crouch and hide like cowards for 20 seconds. One person would go up and use their third person camera to peek around the corner, see nothing, and everybody would say, let's go the opposite direction. Yeah, no, you would go outside the plane and go around too. If you were organized, and you'd would go split left up. and go right. Yeah. So hold on, no, we had a battle royale. But it wasn't a new battle royale. But gamers. we're 53 minutes in. We also so haven't seen Minecraft. Oh my god! I only Minecraft just thought about that. K Minecraft. Uncharted worlds. <laughs> I thought she was about to say Uncharted 4, and I was like, wait, what? I, yeah, that's what I thought she genres said. We love, and genres we love to I thought she was gonna say genres we love and genres we hate. <laughs> too often we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. No. So we set out to I've never had no. that thought. And to answer the question. What if you didn't have to choose? I... What if you could play them all? At the same time. The answer? <laughs> Xbox Game Because we're desperate. A way to give gamers <laughs> and now, freedom to play. with our new split-screen technology, you can literally play two away. games at the same time and let's face on it, one monitor. And let's face it, you can only download, like, two of those games before you run out of space on your Xbox, so you really can't Xbox play have, all those Xbox have huge we'll storage volumes. And we couldn't be more inspired. Look at all those leaves. <laughs> for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all. You know what I'd love? You know what would be a great brick joke, like an unintentional one, would be if if somebody turned around and walked off stage and they had like a leaf, like just like caught in their collar or something, right? Yeah. They didn't know. Fast start Unlike before after 2x faster system, is that the name of their next console 2x fast start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. okay and fast start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time and we're finding new and creative ways YouTuber. to block videos on YouTube yeah <laughs> us, us youtubers love our algorithms titles in the June update coming later this month no, it's coming next month, July, you know. So who is this lady? I, it's the director of engineering, I think it said. For Game Pass. Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. Yep. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites. Now, I've lost my ability to see a release date and actually believe that it's coming out on that release date. Oh, that's cool. Uh, well, yeah. They're they're releasing like, ever since like like so that that Jedi Law, Fallen Order game whatever. It's like it's winter 2019. That to my brain auto corrects that to 2020 now. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean that's how it's been for me for a while because it just happens so much. Xbox but it's not. Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. Yay. Cool. Yay. Cool. These people, did you see that? What? They looked so unimpressed. <laughs> there was people that were like this and had their head back. I'm pretty sure somebody was asleep. How much do you have to pay for this again? I forget. That's, that was about per month. Yeah. Look that up, Jacob. Because if it's anything over fifteen dollars, that's absurd. We're doing some some googling. Uh, ten dollars per month. <laughs> no, I remembered it was a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's that's all right. That's yeah. Next. No, like games with gold is good because like unlike PlayStation Plus, once you download it to your system once, if you lose play Xbox Gold, like you've still got it. Oh, okay. It's just on your hard drive forever. Yeah. This program's a pretty good program. Elder, oh my gosh, Elder Scrolls Online, the game. A million has dollars played. if you play it. Oh man, I tried playing that. Or was it just that bad? I just I, I tried to get into it and I, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. I still just cannot believe. That they literally said, hey guys, everybody who signs up for our game this month will be entered into a drawing to win a million dollars. <laughs> like, play our game, please. What? I would literally just sign up and then never turn the game on. 
and like seriously. Like, please, guys, play this game. We're not gonna make. It should have been like whoever logs the most us. hours, like actually doing things in our game. I'm just gonna double check Kotaku and IGN because nothing else has been announced in the meantime. At uh, anything else, usually, I mean, obviously, usually people have the good, great will to not do anything during other conferences, but just make sure we haven't missed anything super important. Thanks, everyone. And now it's time for Minecraft. I can tell. Nope. Oh, are we wrapping up? No way. There, there will be one more thing after this. This is this. Instead of doing sizzle at the end, they're doing sizzle first, and then Phil Spencer's gonna come back out, and then they're gonna go. We have one more thing. I love this is what they're doing. It's like we have 50 games to show, and 30 of them are gonna be shown right now. No, they said we have 50 new games, and we have 50 games we should, like in general, like all in our these. Upcoming. Oh, okay. Eight. All right. That's I don't what remember. What this is like 40 of them. Whatever. Was Vermintide just PC before? Yeah. Okay. As like most of the Warhammer games are, I'm pretty sure. Launch exclusive. <laughs> yeah, that's, I always that love those. A lot. It's I don't I don't begrudge that at all. For the most part, that's that's an absolutely fine selling point. The only cases where that's actually amusing to me is in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds cases. There's Battle oh, Royale. Yeah, I was gonna say Battle Royale. I saw Royale. that first shot had the, the thing closing in. That yeah. looks neat. Yeah, that's that cool. looks really Holy crap, cool. that looked like Journey with a better art style. Oh, this that thing? You see cool. this game? You see that game that was just there a second ago? Yeah. Uh, that is all stop photography stop motion. Ooh. Really? Yes, so like the characters, even as they move around, were basically all animated in stop motion against the green screen, and then those animations are imported into Holy the game. Holy crap, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I saw the trailer for that a while ago. It looks absolutely stunning. There's a mobile game for you. That, no, that was... But no, that was not a mobile game, because it had, it had an Advance Wars pixel art style. Oh, Dead Cells, cool. Maybe maybe it could still be a mobile game, but like that was that 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 RTS that looking thing we just saw a second ago with the you know two sides shooting at each other. Like that was that wasn't a crappy art style. That was a deliberately Advance Wars send up art style and okay. and and Game Boy Advance yeah. Fire Emblem See, that's art the, style send up. Like oh here we go guys. Okay. Tomb yeah. Raider. <laughs> <laughs> the game that's gonna cost two and a half times as much as God of War did. It's gonna be worth it, right? It's gonna make all that money back, right? Okay, so supposedly, no. I don't know this because I haven't. I just was told this by uh, what I can. This, so it was mentioned in the God of War playthrough on the Best Friends channel, and I haven't found the numbers myself. But Wooly mentioned at the beginning of an episode of that 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 game cost before marketing and whatnot forty-four million dollars, right? Yeah. Supposedly, this game is going to cost between seventy-five to one hundred million dollars before marketing. Now, granted. This is an, an Uncharted-style linear adventure through continuous levels, whereas God of War has an Ocarina of Time-style structure with a lot of recycled areas and assets, right? That said, that what a so poor investment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I could I could bet you right what, now. What's the name of this one? Rise of the... No. no yes, it's, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's Shadow. Shadow last one was it's Rise. This is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You throw every one of these on a shelf and ask me to name them in order and I couldn't get any it's of them. Too, it's Rise of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> and there's the fall. And the fall of the Tomb Raider will be after this one. The Rise of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. fall or rise? This is... No, she rose last time. Now she's now she's Shadow. She following again? Oh, She'll fall a... next time, is okay. what I'm saying. She, she was the Tomb Raider. Then she rose. Now she's a shadow of her former self. Then she'll fall. There's Shadow Tomb Raider there. Like I'm sure this will be good. No, no, I mean, it'll. We're be not. Great. We're not at all complaining about the game itself. It's I'm just, just saying the it meta. costs an obscene amount of money, considering like, all like all I can just think about. I mean, maybe I, I haven't. I don't even know how well Rise did. I'm sure it did fine if this is happening. Yeah. And I'm sure this will sell fine. But all I can think about is just like when the first Tomb Raider got perfectly respectable sales figures they were like, for, a, a for, a th for a third-person shooter reboot of a dead franchise, and it like got, what, like, three million set units or whatever within the first year? Yeah. Three or four million? And Square was like, this is a, this is a financial catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, well, that's because you built an entire new engine for it, and you thought it was going to sell like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, because you're stupid. Yeah, big no, we were expecting it to, to sell like Wii Sports. Come on. So I don't. I haven't even watched it. I've just heard people talk about the cinematic trailer for this, and it was like Laura is running around in the forest. Look, it's the division. Oh. Laura is running around in the woods, killing soldiers like brutally, doing all of her you know cinematic takedowns, and it's like she's the monster, Ooh. and like she goes to rescue a kid from some soldiers, and he's like, oh no, Laura Croft, you're scary and covered in blood. You're scary, and she's like, oh no. 
What have I become? <laughs> oh my god. I have become hey, the Tomb Raider. Console, here's the stinger. Console launch exclusive. Creature Studios? I've never heard of them. Skate 4! Oh my god! But I thought Skate was dead! <laughs> EA, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you smash your car? Why wasn't this 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 is the thing that I was like, man, they're gonna bust out Skate 4 and that's gonna be what EA brings to the table. But instead they didn't bring anything to the table, and now Xbone is bringing this to the table. <laughs> Xbox. This conference is great! This is the best conference Xbox has had in like five years! Oh man. I don't even care about skate, and I just thought this game would never happen. Nobody did. I'm just happy for the people who love Skate 3 and all the other Skate games. I've never played it, but I have friends who just, every time Skate 3 is brought up, they go on and on about it. Well, it's not Skate oh, okay, 4. okay, it's not Skate 4. It's well, session. Damn. idiot. Never mind. But you know what? Because Skate 4 is dead, somebody else is making it, and it's on Xbox's main stage, and it looks fine. No, no, it's just they show that, and then they, like, re-scramble the letters and say Skate 4, and it's like, we got you. Okay, that was, for, a st for it to not be Skate 4? That's kind of sad. Oh. Okay, you ready for now this it's exclusive? Skate 4. No, you know, you know, and they follow that up with yeah, Skate 4. Pearl Abyss, whoever that is. I beg to differ. I was born three times, and I've met death three times. This is a top down RPG. Yes. I can tell from the art style and layout. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. The year of the king. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. Al something Stewart about her. Something terrible. about her tombra made you think of Al Stewart. And she was talking about living nine, like, yeah. multiple lives. And I was like, I was gonna make a nine lives joke, and then I went to a year of the cat. Dude, joke. I, I don't like Al Stewart's music. I'm sorry, everyone. Some you know, of this stuff is good. Exactly a lot of it's not. A lot of it's not, including that song. I think the year of the cat is fine. It's passable. It just reminds this me of like, like Neil. something they should be having as a stinger for an Xbox. I don't think this is the stinger. It's not over yet. They if, haven't if, shown Minecraft yet. If the last Joey. one had been Skate 4, that would have been a stinger. We're going to see more. Watch it be like Elder Scrolls now. Here's, did, here's the thing you're forgetting. They have 40 computer monitors on the stage and they haven't used oh, them yet. Oh, you're right. This is going to end with Halo multiplayer. Battle Royale. Yes. This is going to end with gameplay of that Halo game because they showed nothing of that Halo game. Yeah, right that, that, that Halo game is going to have gonna Battle This is going to end Royale. with gameplay of that. Dragon's Dogma 2. No, even though that wasn't Skate 4, that was a AAA game on About a main skating, stage yeah. at Xbox. That was a that was a real skating game. Yeah, that was cool. That is a big deal for a lot of people. Yeah, because well, there hasn't been a good one. Like in like has it has it been a decade since there was a good skate game? Skating game. Skate 3 was like the last big one, right? I think so. Black Desert. Yep, that's oh. what I thought. Oh right, I forgot that that was gonna be on. I was yeah. about to say, I'm pretty sure this. I I saw like some of the the stuff, and I was like, that looks like Black Desert, even though I've never played it. And I was right. Okay, I'm I trying to go to anything. Creature Studios website so, and it's crashed. Yeah, no nice. one, no one knows, no one knows. Rendered you know. in engine and in real time. What does that mean? It means Both it's a square. Game. That means it's double rendered. It means it's been rendered twice. Five. Okay, that's was what... that Virgil? It was so fast. I didn't get it. Yeah, no, I it. just I'm assuming. Who it's else Virgil. would it be? There's there's the man. I can't. Is he red or blue? I can't even see it. It was one of them. I couldn't tell. No, I, it's just I'm dude. No one applauded. With my limited... No, you're right. Because no one clapped wrong... for Devil May Cry Five. It's because it's the wrong conference. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Why is he leading him out like he doesn't know where to go? <laughs> he doesn't want to go out there. That's more applause than there was for the actual game. Well, you have to be polite once there's somebody on stage. As director, I've waited four years for this. Even wait longer Thank than four years, so my dude. He, he said four the years, not four back. years. I've been waiting for years. Yeah, not, not, four, not years. four more okay. years. I've been waiting for years. English, English is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back. How do you pronounce it like that? Hideyaki Itsuno. That guy kind of, I don't know why, that guy's, Hideyaki that, guy, that guy's mannerisms remind me of David, David Hayter. I don't know why, but let's just look at this guy. creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. 
So we've scanned fully costume models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. My coworker is gonna be real happy about this. Oh yeah, Session Go Skate. I think I've actually, I think, and now that I'm thinking, I think I've actually heard of Session before. Yeah, teaser for 2015. So this is they've been working on this project for a while. I don't, I don't mean to be sandbagging this. I just wanted to try and find out more about that. Isuzu-san says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans, and we hope you look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Have a great E3. Yeah! To be fair, this is exactly like, of those types of games, Devil May Cry is the one that breaks through to that crowd, you know what I mean? I think it has the potential to, but Wait. Oh, whoa! The last course before before we go out of business. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so happy to see this, man. I thought it was just gonna be Chef Salt. These make me so happy to watch. Just like yeah, I don't, no, I don't even care. I just good, good for them. Good that this is a thing. Exclusive. I assume this Minecraft. is about DMC, but Jake just texted me and said, "Dude, I've shed an actual tear." <laughs> no, the. That, that means the Cuphead did really, really, really yeah. well. Yeah. Because, like, hey, Fox. This is the next Star Fox game. Because an expansion for that game, you can't recycle any assets. Other than, like, your, your basic character animation. It's Star yeah, Fox I mean. Adventures 2. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Nintendo wouldn't do it, so Rare did it by themselves. Dude, I would play the ever-living, like, hell out of that. Did you see that Fox statue had... Had this literally le le legit looks like this, Zelda. This, no, this is a Zelda oh, send up. Yeah, Did you notice that the big statue, like a fox deity or something, yeah. had the outgoing wings of mm. the Hylian, like, royal crest? Yeah. That's, that's like right there, right there. Copyright yeah. infringement. I will not stand for it. I must fight. For... This is gorgeous. This looks great. This conference has been fantastic, actually. It really has. Like, this is impressive for Xbox. It's not impressive for they've had no. It is the impressive. For the last Xbox. couple of years were weak. Exactly. So it's impressive for them to get back to their form. At first. I still don't. I still don't feel like I've seen real system movers yet. But this has been a very good. Oh yeah. Conference. Well, that's the thing is most of the most of these are multi-platform. It said, it said or launch. Exclusive. It said exactly. launch exclusive, right? Yeah, Which exactly. means I can play it on my Switch later. Good. Okay. That, that game would be perfect this for is, Switch. It honestly would be. Conference, that though. tiny fox in a big world. Is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. Okay. Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? Created by a single developer. That's there. And Halifax, okay. Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Yeah. Whether you're cool. sharing the adventure of a tiny cool. box with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up. You made with the Xbox right choice Live right there. <laughs> is an incredible oh boy. We've always believed that Why can't I can't fight it for Are you trying to play the video? I'm trying game? to play stupid gotcha. In our shared experience. Sharing the same world, I'm trying to finish eating my food. Same seasons. For same campaign. In 4K. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. Speaking of sharing, <laughs> Minecraft. The community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. What if Minecraft didn't show up? For the rest of our briefing, Maybe it won't. everything Wild. you've what shown you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. No, no Minecraft then. Let's we'll show Minecraft 2. <laughs> Minecraft 2. Minecraft 2, baby! What if they did? It's just Conan Exiles. <laughs> No, they said. Wait, Bandai Namco. They said games that nobody has ever seen before, and and just like um uh, um Battleborn shows up. Now, <laughs> dude, I actually care about Namco, so everyone shut up. I'm shutting up. Yeah. All right, what's Bamco got for me today? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why Show is this and an jump. Xbox? 
They were really trying to appeal no, you're, to a you're, mass you're, audience. You're forgetting that these specific shows absolutely appeal to this core audience. Yeah, okay. Because I, these guys all watched Naruto and Dragon Ball when they were kids in, okay. in the late 90s. Dragon 2000s. Ball, I, yeah. Dragon yeah. Ball and Naruto are actually a big deal for a lot of the for a lot of big Xbox fans. Like that's that's if the only. Is, if the, even if this is fake in game footage, it still looks pretty all right. I feel like we should like I feel like we're really trying to we're really pigeonholing Xbox fans with a lot of this. We really are, but I'm, I'm and talking it's about it is unfair. But I'm saying like the like it's it's no secret that the general consensus of the audience is, is mostly like Call of Duty. I feel, I feel like I feel like we should yeah we should very specifically mostly, say not necessarily not we shouldn't necessarily say Xbox fans. We should say Mountain Dew juggling guzzling. Let's listen to the applause. Why Look, are you here? Because it's because he's from Jump Festa. You can't fight. <laughs> I was literally, I literally said it's Jump Festa crossover. They they just called it Jump Force. That's great. That's awesome. World I don't even care. That's great. Shh, shh, shh. It's Minecraft too. No, those are no, those this are. This is this is Assassin's Creed. Those are spe Yes, you're correct. Those are specifically. Those are the most. Nope. Like mainstream Dang Japanese it. things for this particular age demographic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. I saw I saw a Greek quote and I was like, now it's got to be Assassin's Creed. Ava 2, it's a sequel to um, Evangelion. Ooh, my favorite. Did you see during the anthem footage this for like North one talking? second there was a... North talking? Possibly, I'm not listening. Did oh, you see... Is, this is that they zombie stopped game. talking over it. I don't care. Did you see for two seconds the Ava 1 unit yes. color palette for I Anthem I yesterday? Need, I want to see that. There was one, they were, as they were flipping through costumes, one was like explicitly Ava unit 1 colors. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Every day. It was right yeah, before that's no North. Is that is Nolan North. Yeah, that's Nolan. I'll listen. Would that light? Sure. He wants to know if it's Nolan North. Oh, it's Dying Light. Yeah. Yeah, right. I was about to that's, say. Uh -huh. Dying Light. Too late now. Nolan North ain't talking. He'll talk anymore. some more. And these choices we take to survive will create the world to come. Sounds more like Troy Baker, honestly. Yeah, you might be right. This is a visually, this is a world that is much more built for parkour than the last. And, one. and it's just generally more visually appealing than the first Dying Light. Yeah, Dying Light was a very fun game. It, it's better Dead Island. It's good, good Dead Island. <laughs> yeah, it's so, scratch out better, right? Good. I love Dead Island with a passion well, because of how awful it is, but how fun it is for co-op. <laughs> but Dying Light is a is better. It's an Island. actually good game. Yeah. I, I kind of just want Xbone to be over. No, what are you no, talking I'm about? Gonna, this is great. It's uh, yeah, it's I'm really enjoying myself. No, 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 no. This is good. Like this after is EA, me, this is good. This is giving me the E3 feelings that I want. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This is I, I'm just I'm tired. I'm gonna mark this up as a good conference. Yeah. After this. It's just unfortunate they're not gonna up their hardware sales at all. Yep. Old sequel of the first game, a fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat. And of course, terrifying nights when the infected are the city in this. to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post apocalypse, a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern dark ages. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2. That could a be a splash page for an Assassin's Creed game. game. Yeah, absolutely. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences huh? in the game itself. From how it looks, so that's the, how it plays, that's the first game with RPG occur, mechanics ever. I think he means in this in this type of this type of game okay. is going to have the heavy story demo, integration. Well, that's going to be rough because Dying Light One, the one of the big appeals was the co-op. So how are you going to do co-op if there's decision making? Who knows? Yeah. How, how are you going to do that in Anthem, Joey? Yeah. Dude, I'm no, so... No, it doesn't matter, though. Yes, it does. There's no romances yes, it... in that game, so nothing We matters. don't know that. There's no, a they special... Speci they specifically, they specifically, specifically said no romances. There's I'm a special the room FPS, you go to where the multiplayer crew goes away, and that's where the story happens, and the rest that's of the so game dumb. doesn't matter. Absolutely. I'm sure that's not actually what it is, but no, they that's explained what it, is. it poorly. That's what it is. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. Do you save they the puppy or stomp on it? They want to negotiate two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. We've poisoned the water supply. Final offer. Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders. One way, 
fight for another. There's going to be two instances in the game this, where you can do that. Yeah. The and you have to skill into it. To the water I'll, I'll wait for, I'll wait for um, the, the new Spider-Man game to do that. There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision. See, this is, so just as a point of reference for people who may be wondering, this is exactly the kind of demonstration I was talking about with Sea of Thieves. Yeah. This is what I wanted to see for Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Not these specific mechanics, but an explanation like this. Yeah, exactly. Because anybody can say your decisions matter. Well, I mean, this doesn't even mean anything. Hey, no, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe that decisions actually matter. <laughs> I mean, but but what it essentially is going to amount to is di access to different resources. Yeah. And yeah. a different and aesthetic changes to districts. Exclusive. All right, what's next? Premiere. A lot of time has passed. Teenage You've Mutant Ninja soft. Turtles? Green comic book bubbles? Nah. You always knew this day would come. You always knew the three of you would be needed again. Three. You always... always wait. Three. What? Oh, Battletoads. Holy crap. Oh boy. Rare did it. They made a good game so they got one of their old IPs back. They were like, well finally Is let Rare you have it, it back. Though? What if Rare isn't making it though? A brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups. I was close on the Couch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles prediction. Graphics and broad non -specific feature <laughs> They're back. Oh man, I, we didn't get I to feel see bad anything. for the GameStop employees who are now going to be getting an influx of calls asking for the new Battletoads. <laughs> World premiere. Minecraft 2. <laughs> I really want them to announce Minecraft Mine 2. Minecraft 1.5. Oh, this, this is, is just cause 4, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're playing like a broken version of Claire de Lune. Yeah. No failure. Why does this seem so serious? Because all the trailers for Just Cause 2 are always super. Just Cause are always super serious. Yeah. Why? I know. It, it don't. I don't get it. But if you watch the trailers, then they're presented as if they are serious dramas. They're like, because I have to now deal with my darkness inside well, I guess, of me. I, guess I have to take down the man well, who I guess taught me everything down I know. Took the mantle of the goofy one. I kind of want to hear this because it's dumb. These games are still goofy, though. Like, the games are still goofy. No, I know the games are goofy, but I'm saying, like, of the advertisement of these. Sure. Okay. All right. I'm surprised we're seeing this here and not at during. This makes I'm very I'm very much wondering what we're gonna see during Square's conference now. Yeah. You know, not it's just gonna be the same thing. And we're, we're, what, what it's gonna be is we'll see probably gameplay. We'll see gameplay of this and gameplay of Tomb Raider and then FF7 because, remake. Because yeah, now I think uh, about it, if <laughs> we not. won't see FF7. We will see F7 remake tomorrow. Even if it's just another cinematic trailer, you're right. We'll see it. FF7 remake will appear tomorrow. Development is only like three months. And as y'all are watching, <laughs> yeah, I'll call with something. No, as y'all are watching, you're gonna Here's have to write down the points art. of interest and let me know when I come over, because I'm not gonna be able to come over. For yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Alternatively, we could always just not watch it live and watch it with you later. We can yeah. media black out until the evening or something. I'm down. Your your friends would let you. That you couldn't tell them to stop. Your friends would let you know. I mean, I could go dark for a day. Whoa. Uh, it's not a it's not a big deal. It's like who cares? It's not that not that important. It's just an option. World premiere. I know you said everything from here on out would be a world premiere. You don't need to break them up oh like this. Gosh. Just go. Just, just. I, 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 I thought this was gonna end like twenty minutes ago. I wonder what it could be. That was just the, the no, no slow build on that one. Just there you go. Okay. It's there. Oh. 
It's, it's, a, it's a Funko oh. Pop. Never mind, Ow. zero out of ten conference. Ooh. This is a Funko Pop game. This is dude. This is I love. Did you hear the, the cheering stopped immediately when it showed up? Oh, by the way, fellas, and now and now, uh, and now a Halo Funko Pop. What were you gonna say, Joey? I was gonna say, uh, maybe this isn't completely widespread, but Gears of War has really fallen from grace as to how it used to be. I found out because the other day. Are uh, you kidding me? It's just me? Gears Pop, oh. and it's on, and it's, enough, and it's a mobile game. Uh, I was with my little cousin who's 10 years old, and I was talking about some game studio, and I was like, yeah, uh, they, they helped uh, with Gears of War. You know that. He's like, the what? I was like, the Gears of War franchise. He's like, I've never heard of it. Oh, no. Dude, this is the game they're having somebody come out on stage to talk about. <laughs> it's like that mobile game at the EA one where it's just like, we're gonna take control of Joshua the Joshua almost put his head on the desk in despair, but he realized he couldn't because it would jostle the microphone, and I appreciate it. We had no idea how big this franchise would become. <laughs> I'll be right back. Tell me if he says anything else yeah. hilarious. Okay, let's... let's... <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> Mobile is not the only new place we're going. I'm excited to also announce the true Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre, Gears Tactics. Are you kidding oh me? Gosh. A tactics game on PC? As they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. Okay, is this just XCOM? Holy crap, it, it's XCOM. Oh my god. They're making an XCOM game, never mind. Oh my gosh, that's freaking awesome. What do you mean faster and more aggressive gameplay? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's literally I will the say, opposite. We look forward to sharing more about tactics with you soon. But it's not just about Please clap. Places. No. It's also about having new experiences. No, they clap for the mobile game, but not for that. <laughs> Is there gonna be a third? I thought... Gears 5. There you okay. go. Okay. Why did they start with the mobile game? Oh. They just announced Gears 5. Yeah. And they no. started with the epic. <laughs> and no. an XCOM game. Yeah. No, they have an XCOM game. And, the guy and saying, then they did Gears 5. After those two. Oh my god. What is wrong? Uh. <laughs> I guess we're gonna announce the mobile game. I guess to be first. fair, set expectations low, <laughs> then knock them down. I saw somebody was joking <laughs> in the comments section on that on the the, the Kingdom Hearts three video. Yeah. Someone was like, "Watch Nomura announce it's coming out sooner in two days." <laughs> and this was a troll. But no, he said something along the lines of he was like faster, more action pack combat, and it was like for the tactics game. Is the turn-based XCOM game? Did you hear the, the the that initial piano chime? It sounded like the beginning of the Halo theme. That was like did. that was really distracting. <laughs> You're trying to fool people. <laughs> what is it? Phoenix is dead. Your dad is dead, or your brother is dead. Somebody's dead. I got that much at least. I know nothing about Gears of War, so I'm just gonna sit <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, I played the first, and it was okay. Play no, that's Phoenix. So her brother's dead, okay. or is that, or is that her brother? I don't know who that is. No, I'm sorry. That's Phoenix. Phoenix. That's not. Okay, that's 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 the brother. That's then. Nyx from that's Final brother, Fantasy. Then. Um, from Final Fantasy. I guess that called? must be the brother, because that's definitely King's not. Slave. Yeah, that movie. For coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. Magic. Oh, man. We're getting... Something's Let this be the start of the magic FPSs. Please. Oh, I know there. He's right there. It's not how FPS. did I over? How did I overlook him? Who's dead then? We'll deal with this later. Wait, who's dead? Or is she talking to his ghost? There's a place up north. I think we can find. No, they acknowledge that. Then who's who's dead then? Absolutely not. We have orders. Oh, he gave himself his juice. Yep. <laughs> God damn it, both of you! Listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing. Gentle notice. Okay. 
Basically, for those who are not aware, Gears 4 was like kind of a next generation of like it was the kids, yeah, you know. But then he came back and hung out with his son and daughter. I believe it's his son and daughter. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. I didn't play Gears 4 because I don't have an Xbox One. I guess it was on PC too, but apparently it ran terribly on PC. Watcher. Like it was borderline not functional on PC. The necklace. That's a locust symbol. Yes. Yeah, so. It's magic. She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? What if she's been possessed by the mummy? <laughs> Titles. <laughs> <laughs> commit. Commit to the magic FPS. Let us know. Yeah. Where are we going? Back to where it all began. With skiing. <laughs> Shut up. Don't even. Okay, we got some environmental diversity. If we actually get to fly, drive that ship around, that'd be neat. But you are from the red sand planet exclusively. from from the Last Jedi. There for a second. That looked a lot like Crate. You're not wrong. You know the name of that planet. There? I know the name but of that, that planet because that it was in sucked. all the information. No, shut up. The Last Jedi was fine. Not, I liked it. It was a good movie. At least I enjoyed it, and I thought. How that it dare was fun. you? How, how dare you say such a thing? Even though I agree with you. I greatly enjoyed it, and I think that it's it was fine. Like even if I didn't like. Even if I had like problems with the story, it's like really well shot and all the act the acting's great, the direction's awesome, it's got one of the best action scenes in the entire franchise. Like it was a fine movie. Nope. No magic. Well not yet. No, They're not a... they gotta save the magic when the Wait, game comes out. Wait, is this out, magic? Dude. Oh no. So I guess she's like the lead character now. She's been pitched as because it was the guy who was the lead character in the previous one. Hey. She's gonna shoot him because of the magic. Come here with me. What did JD tell you? Nope, no magic. Wait, no, there's gonna be magic. This ending. <laughs> there's gonna be gonna late be game magic. magic. Gears of War Magic Edition. It, that's just a hard place to jump in. We can't like it's it's not it's not like it's the game's fault that we can't muster up enthusiasm for that. That's just this, no. it's impossible to jump in there and care. Yeah. In the entire history of Xbox. In the entire history of going with this? <laughs> The we have never before revealed Gears of War 5. Okay. Was that their stainer? Wait, wait, all the great Today, new games. So you got like five games lined up then? We still haven't had these... these have before, yeah, no. So they're, they, they're, gonna, they're gonna end with Halo. With I keep like forgetting that that's gonna happen. <laughs> There's Kingdom Hearts, Sora, Donald, and Goofy down right there. And it's the JPEGs. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the JPEGs. It wasn't even from the trailer. It was the, one of the official renders from three years ago. It was literally the render from 2015. It was. <laughs> Some so guy was doing fact? the Georgia Bulldogs. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, kind of yes, because apparently Kingdom Hearts 3 runs better on Xbox One X than it does on PS4 Pro. Ooh. Well, I mean, Xbox One, uh, Xbox X, One X. Yeah. Game that's not going to be out for another, another moment, three years. We are constantly yeah. challenging ourselves. Where can we take gaming next? Another Halo Our game. Answer? Another Halo. VR. The full breadth we are the are <laughs> to deliver on the future of play <coughs> our experts in microsoft research are developing our xbox the experts future of gaming ai so the worlds and characters huh? we enjoy will be even more rich and oh, more no. our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network I mean, i'm not mad at this i'm just wondering where this is going yeah because he didn't say anything just there on any device that's not viable until not fiber that, becomes a thing. Until until fiber saturation is extremely high. Which won't be for like 20 years. Not that long. In the United States and Canada, it'll be quick, but other parts of the world, like it's going to take up. Not where we live. And of course, our hardware team. Yes, in in the that's the big problem where a huge chunk of like Canada's population lives in cities. Whereas yeah. there's a lot more people in the United States who live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But fiber will get rolled out relatively consistently I across think, North across, America. across the next Especially decade in and a half probably. In Europe that'll be freaking awesome. There are lots of places where this will be fine. Other parts of the world this is gonna take like like this is gonna be like 50 Australia. Years. Australia is gonna have it rough. 
leading. He's about to announce uh, a VR video headset video you put on that links you into the game, but it also has microwaves in it. <laughs> 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 Why your brain gets taken off, of course. Single year investments in teams by adding five new. Now the only console you will be able to buy is we have Xbox. Our team, our company, our technical resources. So Short Out Online is an exclusive to the Xbox. Year, <laughs> Fatal Bullet DLC is exclusive. No, 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 I mean, I don't mean we'll Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, I mean Sword Art yeah. Online. The game. The game, the game the Sword Art Online is an Xbox exclusive. <laughs> now with even more radiation. <laughs> you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become. Together. Thanks, and have a great eat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. What? It's not, this isn't a da 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 this is something else. They wouldn't, they wouldn't transition into da 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 like this. Is that evolved? This is cyberpunk! This is cyberpunk. Yep, there it is. This is cyberpunk. This is the music from the original trailer. Come touch me like I'm an ordinary man. This is a big reveal. All right, let's see it. Give me something. There's gonna be a lot of trailer analysis. There was with the original teaser trailer. They did this too, and there was tons of stuff in there. Yeah. Is it gonna be like trailer tomorrow? Okay, no, good, all right? When it said upload trailer, I was like, it's beginning the trailer upload, it'll be uploaded by tomorrow. All right, let's Night City. Attention. They voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. 40% unemployment, man. <laughs> that was a, um, uh, that was a Detroit become human joke for those who are not initiated. It's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Seventy seven was not the release date. That's correct. Okay. No, it's not being made by Square. Mm, my bad. For like for like a for a four solid twenty four hours there, I forgot we were gonna see Cyberpunk. Whenever that was that was a big that my heart skipped a beat there. That was that was Okay, now sizzle real. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, they still didn't use those 40 seats they on the They used it for stage. Forza, remember? It's gonna be an after project. Three people walked out and sat there. No, there were like 10. What, there's too many. There's, 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 gonna, be, there's gonna be a stream after this where they play Halo. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would, like, you could've, they could've said Cyberpunk's out today, you you don't know anything about it, we're not gonna tell you. No. I would've no. bought it. Uh, there the was thing. no shadow drop during this. Well, there, no, it's, no, the, 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 the Easy Allies bet was that every one of the major seven guys would have some form of demo or game shadow dropped by the end of the conference. Oh, okay. So the, the car, the combo ain't broken yet. I love that, they announced Gears of War, Puyo Pop edition. This was fantastic. Before they announced Gears of War Yeah, 5. no, I'm, I'm very happy I came over for this. You know, you know what it really is? A bunch of the games here were games that absolutely would have normally been on Sony's stage if yeah. Sony wasn't doing their show the way they're doing it this year. Yeah. 
How are they doing it this year that's different? They're doing it, they're focusing on four big PlayStation exclusives with, and giving minor screen time to third party games and indie games. Oh, okay. So they're yeah, doing they, quote, they're doing quote they deep dives. They basically just gave this to, to Xbox then. They're doing quote deep dives into four of their main games, which are um, uh, gonna be Death Last Stranding. of Us 2, Death Stranding, Spider-Man PS4, and um, uh, and uh, God, the, the, the other Ghosts one. of Yes, Ghosts of Tsushima, island. the Sucker Punch, uh, yeah, yeah. Sucker Punch game. What were all those setups for? Video on demand will be available shortly. It's this music again. Oh <laughs> boy. The Yo. chat was really roasting this music before the <laughs> before the actual stream. Yeah, it was. No, it's great. You can make I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to sync up since we didn't get to do that before. Yeah, it's probably a good idea now that we're done. Well, I mean it doesn't matter. Front sync or back sync is you know, really irrelevant. Mm. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, that was a, that was a conference. That was a pretty darn good conference. Yeah, it was. I mean, I still think that like like after the nothing that was that was EA. That I was. Still, really I still nice. think that several of those are fun. Like, cause you got to remember, like Dragon Ball of, of Fighters was at was at Xbox last year. Like again, that that is absolutely the right demo. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, it's just um that some of those like so like that that Jump Force totally makes sense as an Xbox presentation. Just there are a couple of other ones that I was like, hmm. That kind of might not be. I'm just exactly wondering the right how spot. how deep in Jump Force is going to go with their IPs in it. But will any of those games be able to be on the Switch? Because I'm on. How how perfect. deep in are they going to go? Okay, so I'll, like because there was the other there was the other game that's almost identical to this visually. The, yeah. Uh, oh God, I don't even remember what it was called. Uh, All Star something. Yeah. I'm, now now the thing is, as you said, the freaking. <laughs> As the image I'm looking at it on my computer over here right now, we got Death Note here, yeah. which doesn't make sense. No. But it's also not a deep pull because that's one of their most iconic character. Like those are two of their most iconic characters. Yeah. So it's like, how how I just they showed the obvious picks. Is my point. Honestly, in that the thing that was biggest for me out of that conference was Battle Toads. Really. Yes, you don't rare, care about battle toads. I don't care, but it means Rare's getting some Rare's of their Rare's not necessarily back. doing yeah, it. it. it they didn't say, say who was making it. It's just that it's being made. If it's anyone other than Rare, something is wrong. So my big thing is it's so been theirs for twenty years. Cyber world. Cyberpunk is a is a classic tabletop role playing campaign, right? Not a campaign. It's it's a you know a classic mm. set, right? In yeah. the same way that Dungeons and Dragons is or whatever else, right? So the question is like. Is this going to be a you create a character and build your own story in an open world RPG, or is this gonna? Because we had a very clear like protagonist type character yeah, exactly. in that, in addition to a bunch of others. And I think I think I would probably prefer Witcher Three through the perspective of a GTA protagonist set in cyberpunk land. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you still have all of the ridiculous, completely off-topic questing of a Witcher game, uh, but in a more non-sarcastic GTA setting. Mm -hmm. uh, and with a with a explicitly like criminal hitman character. Yeah. Um. I don't know. We'll see. There's that was. It was nice to see, even though I saw nothing. Yeah. I don't know. Just... We didn't see nothing. I saw, but it, I I saw exactly what I in terms of if they'd shown me a cinematic trailer, I saw everything that I wanted to see. Which the was only the thing I knew about Cyberpunk before this is it was CD Projekt Red or Project Red, mm -hmm. and um uh, and it was you know. The name was Cyberpunk, so... The, uh, I just, I liked seeing that that lady was missing her entire jaw, because yeah. that means they're going as far and as weird with it as I would want them to go with yeah, that yeah. with that setting. Which, I mean, you know, Witcher, they go all over the place, so it's not like I was expecting them to, you know, whip out. But all the same, I'm, I'm relatively happy with that performance there. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a yeah. strong showing. That was the strongest showing Xbox has had in a while. I still don't think it's going to help them move any console no, units, but that's not fine. at all. Nah. Because you know, all of it was like world premieres and stuff and timed exclusives. Yeah, yeah. Like I think about two of those games were actual exclusives. So it was a good conference, but it's not like oh man, I can't wait to get. Because is Cyberpunk an exclusive? I don't think so. No, absolutely. Exactly. No, 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 absolutely. No. Like I, I think the only That's exclusives were the new exclusive. Halo and Gears of War. Okay, hold on. So yeah, Phil Spencer and said we will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity, but he's on a Halo installation. Yeah. Yeah. But that's gonna save humanity. No, no, I mean all the Halo installations are gone. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> They're back, baby. <laughs> they made Master Chief is leading. Like, now the, the humans made them. It wasn't the forerunners. Now. The oh yeah, the made humans made more. one as a theme park. Welcome, welcome to welcome to <laughs> Halo Park. <laughs> na, 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 na. How could this possibly go wrong? <laughs> Why does his armor look so pristine? Because I'm pretty sure yeah, in that other looks games really it was crap. like super damaged and whatnot. Halo Infinite and that setting made me think. 
specifically just a multiplayer game yeah. and the massive array on on the stage which which leaned Infinite into my warfare. which leaned into my prediction of we will not have a new Halo single player game before the end of the one's life cycle so that they can have Halo 6 or whatever yeah. be, a launch, be a launch title on whatever their next thing is so seeing this as greatest Master Chief's greatest adventure yet to save humanity is throws a wrench in that theory but whatever oh my gosh Frozen is a world in Kingdom Hearts I could have never imagined that ever happening in my Whoa. entire life yeah, it's true. <sighs> it's true. Frozen is, in fact, a world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Frozen confirmed for yep. Kingdom Hearts 3. Shadows die twice. Yeah. Not what we were expecting, I don't... I mean, I it's guess... What, it's what... Well, I, there was that what I was expecting from the leaks. Right. Uh, I was expecting it to be visually mm. a little bit darker, but, like... It is not... It is not a, the type of FromSoft game we've seen it, in a while. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Well, it's not a Bloodborne. It's not a Dark Souls. It is in the style of character action. Yeah. In, in this style of character action, I've recently been informed that uh, <laughs> that character... When a lot of people say character action, they think, like, Devil May Cry, like, stylish stuff. And I always assume character action was just, like, third person, you know, like, Dark Souls, Dragon's Dogma, just, you know, kind of... You know, you do your things, you have your powers, you fight stuff. I don't know. Well, that was, that was it. We watched Xbox. We, did, we did the whole thing. We watched X Xbox, Burn. and I think we were all thoroughly impressed by it. Yeah. No, that's great. I'll buy some of those games, but I won't not, buy an Xbox, Xbox One, so everything doesn't solve their problem, does oh. it? Hashtag not my Xbox. <laughs> not anymore, not anyway. I got console. rid of it. <laughs> Joey got rid of it. I didn't ever yeah. have it. Oh, boy. 